All right, let's stamp our ticket for Uldaman. Yes, it's so cool. I love it. I mean, this really does feel like Indiana Jones. It really genuinely does. Hail, fellow explorer. Oh, hi. I'm Bran Bronzebeard, the League's founder. Nice to meet you. got a lead on the headpiece of the staff. Ooh. It's somewhere here in Uldaman. Well, let's go get it, Bran. Nice minecart. Oh, please tell me the last one, much like the temple run, is going to be like escaping in a minecart. I'm really hoping for that. The murloc that allows you to change your hero power? There's a murloc that allows you to change your hero power? Each of the tickets is marked with a date on it? Really? Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, well. Alderman's infested with trogs. Ah, uh, no problem. Through them to reach the headpiece. No problem. I could play take take place. I could take care of Chieftain Scarvash here. Trog hate minions. Enemy minions cost two more. Swap at the start of your turn. Enemy minions cost two more. Swap at the start of your turn. Swap what? Minions? So why would I ever want to play minions? I don't get it. All right, I'm going to take Annoying Priest into this one. Annoying Priest relies least on minions. Swap means then spells cost two more. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait, swap hero powers? He switches between... Well, I guess I'll find out. Switches between minions and spells cost two more. That sounds... Swap friendship bracelets. That'd be fun. Uh, double light of the Naro. That's not necessarily the best thing to have in my starting hand. Scarvash was a wee trog last I was here. Now he's bigger, stupider, and uglier. That's how trog trogs go. Stupid. Trog make you stupid. Oh. The light shall burn you. Hurtful. Ah, uh, yeah, now enemy spells cost two more. Interesting. Whenever you overload, gain plus one attack per locked mana crystal. Ooh, interesting. Alright, I have nothing to play anyway. This is perhaps not the best deck to go in with. Swap blood in a Blood Brothers Pact until death. Wow. Swap spit. Uh, alright. This deck is really awkward for this. I mean, I lose, right? I think I lose. These mithril runes contain guardian code. Oh, good. Back to the Titans. It's excellent. I'm yes. in the middle of something. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't do that. Concede? I don't know that we have to concede yet. I mean, true, he did get two really good early minions down and then rolled really high on the Fire Guard Destroyer. All right. Should have done that first, but... This makes Holy Fire playable. This deck just doesn't work. It it relies on me combining playing minions with spells on the same turn, so I just picked the wrong deck for this. Oh wait, I can't Nova next turn. I was planning to Nova next turn. Yeah, this, this deck isn't right for this matchup. Yeah, I'm dead. You have best. Donald Trump wants to put Muslim Americans in a database. That's not legal, right? Uh, I mean, uh, almost, almost probably not. 
Um, though it doesn't really matter what Donald Trump wants to do. Donald Trump is an insane person who owns a business that he inherited from his father. He's never going to be president, and he's never going to hold any sort of political power. So we don't really need to worry too much about what Donald Trump wants to do. What Donald Trump wants to say that he wants to do to a bunch of people who will just listen to anything. Let's do Mech Shaman. Have a watched friend request? I've just, I, I need to go through and clear my friends list because my friends list is just too packed. So I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm adding people right now because I need to remove people first. Well, I can't play Cogmaster on turn one though. So I don't want it. Hey, Solis, how you doing? Job done. All right, let's put down the golden whirling zap, because of course. Taking off mushroom? What are you, what is this? What are you doing? Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll just play Cogmaster here. I think that's better than my hero ability. Alright, it wasn't Snipe. It's not- Oh, it's Snake Trap. He has Snake Trap. That's the only thing it can be. Alright. Can I crackle this? Well... It'll cost my entire turn, but I think I have to crackle that. Oh, I really hope I don't roll three. And then next turn, the minions are going to be more expensive. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just let that live. Crackle it next turn. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh. Okay, that's new. Definitely would have played this differently then. I didn't realize that was a secret. Is this a new secret that's added to the game, or is that just for funsies? What was this? Set a minion's attack and health to three. Okay, that's fine. Uh... Hello, hello, hello. Alright. Awkward, Dr. Boom. I'm not gonna be able to play Dr. Boom on turn 7. Nice. You're starting varsity on your school's soccer team, Dwarf Guy. Congratulations. Four to seven, six. I would need to roll six on it. That's not altogether likely. I gotta go for it, though, right? So let's... Well, I've already got Wrath of Air Totem. I may as well hero power anyway, right? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do it. Maybe I'll get a taunt. That would be helpful. Okay. Yay! Wee! Wee! Nice. So that was a lot more straightforward. Polka Dude, it was actually 12 wins. We got two 12 win runs yesterday. Which was uh, pretty exciting. Pretty darn exciting. So there's Tunnel Trog, uh, which was a really interesting card. I was excited about that one. So I like seeing that. And uh, Ethereal Conjurer as well. Battlecry, Discover a Spell. Interesting. I like those cards. I like those cards. Alright, who's up next? Oh, is this one of... Is this another escape one? Yay! It's another escape one! I love these. These are really fun. I'm surprised this wasn't the last one. Alright, so escape the trogs. Escape from the trogs in this super safe minecart. Okay. 
Okay. Let's do it. Played it against a mage who got Antonitis in this week's brawl and then killed it before she got any firewalls. Sweet. Oh, maybe this is different. Alright. Clear now while I still can? Yeah. I don't understand why people had such a amazingly negative response to what was literally, I think, maybe 15 to 20 seconds of political discussion. Hey, Fruit Bats, what do you think about Donald Trump? I don't really think about him. Oh, God, politics. Gotta get out of here now. It's bizarre. All right. Hero ability? Three damage to a random enemy minion. Okay. Three damage to all enemy minions. So I can kill one of them. Taunt can't attack. Restore 10 health. Draw three cards. They're probably going to get more stuff, though, right? You like the impersonation? Thanks. Thank you. Oh, come on. Come on. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should have waited on that. What does my hero power do? Deals three damage to a random target. Ooh, sweet. Oh, I only have two mana every round. I get it. This is an interesting mode. I like this mode. Alright, and then every round he gets two types of trogs. Very interesting. I kind of like this one. All right, I'm gonna put two spiked decoys down. Come on, get me! Shut up! Why? Why are you taunting them? Is this normal? Her? This is normal. This is my first time through, so I'm just playing some normal. Anyone who leaves. At one comment of politics. Well, no, I don't think that's true, Hemelos. I don't think that's true. I wouldn't say that people are uneducated because they're uninterested in politics. Oh, dang. He got a good trog. Or golem. All right, let's draw three cards. Oh, can't attack. Right. Dynamite deal 10 damage. Ooh. Could dynamite this guy... He will be able to get through still. Hmm. I would also like to be able to launch some attacks. Alright, I'm gonna dynamite this thing. You took out a chunk of the track. You hush. Say Trump has a nice educational stream and move on. Exactly. At right, 8, 9, 10. Uh, alright. Let's get the decoy, and I'm gonna get a... I love this. I wish Mechanical Parrot were actually a new card, because that's hilarious. I love it. Huh, I wish I still had those AoE attacks. I didn't realize I was going to get, like, none of those. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to be almost dead. Hmm. Okay, let's bump one of these. Drop the spike decoy. And then give myself repairs. Okay, totally misread that at first. Well, yeah, but I, I don't know, Hemelis, I still disagree. I think there's a big difference between saying, uh, I'd prefer not to engage in political talk, and saying I'm willing, I'm unwilling to engage in political discussion at any point ever. Uh, which I don't think, I don't think anybody's expressed that feeling. Yay! 
Yeah, exactly. I mean, I can talk a lot about politics, too. I just... I don't know. I don't super feel like it right this particular second. Can I survive? He's got 10, 14, 18. He's got 20 damage. So I can heal 10. So I have to stop 6 damage. Ideally without not losing everything. Could stop more here, but 6, 10, alright. This can't kill anything, so I'm going to put the other uh, parrot. Alright, I'm not dead yet, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna have to survive this onslaught one more round, huh? With just one card. Oh, that's such a good card! Okay, 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 okay. 2-4, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I think, unless I have to survive another round after this, then I might not. But he could only do right now 8 damage to me, and if this is the final round, I'll win. If I have to do one more round after this, it's gonna be really super hard. Yes! Not bad. Not bad at all. That seems pretty quick. That was only three... things? Tomb Spider, Battlecry, Discover a Beast. That's interesting. And it's a neutral card, too, so we could put this in Hunter. This is a reasonable Hunter card. Um, I think where Tomb Spider really might shine, I could see myself drafting this in Druid. Druid's got enough wacky beast synergy that getting Tomb Spider, which is kind of almost a sticky beast, because you play a beast on the board and then you get another beast in your hand. Very interesting card. I like this one. Next, Ramus and Blackrock didn't feel like actual adventures. This, Yeah, this one seems like an actual adventure. The previous one just felt like, you know, a series of single-player challenges, which was fun. Um, and Blackrock Mountain did it even better. But this is... Uh, League of Explorers is just knocking it out of the park so far. Battlecry, choose a friendly minion, gain a copy of its death rattle effect. A 3 mod, a 3, 4. Ooh. And this is a rogue card, too. Wow. Wow, I like this card. This is probably an auto-draft for me in Arena. This is a great card. Very interesting. And who's up next? Uh, the stone giant Arcadus has got the headpiece, but he won't give it up without a fight. I wouldn't expect him to. Stone giant has the second piece, seems to be moving, though. Stone sculpting, hero power, summon a 0-2 statue for both players. Alright, I imagine those zero twos 2s probably have some interesting effects. Do I want to go... Let's go... Let's go Murloc Justice Squad. Why not? Although I get the bad feeling the statues are going to fill up my board and cause problems for me, but... Yeah, just... F oh, it's only friendly ones? Oh, that's a little bit less exciting. I didn't realize it was automatic ones. He's gonna flood my board with bad minions? That's what I thought. And I'm gonna be flooding my board with bad minions as well. We'll see what we can do here. Copy the death rattle of that warlock horse that can't be killed? Nice, but if it came back again, I imagine it wouldn't copy the death rattle again. Because it gets that death rattle through the battle cry. It doesn't make it inherent to its card. So even if you get the death rattle resummon, it will come back and then no longer have that death rattle. It's a clever play and it would work, but not well enough, unfortunately. Top deck redemption right away. I wanted to get rid of that because of this stupid effect. Oh yeah, they're just terrible. Though they're bad for him, too. Yeah, I don't want to kill his things. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Here's what we do. Cold light's here. Then I can make this trade and this trade. I mean, which ones I did didn't matter, but... Then we've got Old Murkai next turn, and hopefully that'll be enough of a board to win. Uh, I hate Paladin Secrets. No! Destroy any minion damaged by this minion! No! I don't want to, though! I don't want to, though. I can only put one thing on the board. I've got... How do you clear these out of your own board? Okay, so I'm going to trade this. Then I'm going to go Bluegill Warrior, Grimscale Oracle. No! Oh, uh, wait. Oh. Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to put Redemption and really, 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 really hope he doesn't kill one of my statues. Need attack buffing cards to clear them like Stormwind Champion. Ah, there you go. That's what I need. Or Direwolf Alpha. I don't know if I have a deck that's designed to deal with this, though. Another Pit Snake. Alright, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage is all I had. If I could get Old Murkai on the board... Oh, wait, I can. I can. I can. Plus one, it would have four, seven. Wait, 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 wait. This gets plus one? Right, okay. Okay. Slightly short here, but he's only got three health left. And I don't think you could kill everything. Okay. That's fine. Missed one damage to face? I don't know that I did. Where, where? Where did I miss one damage? Can you try and use the 4-3 that causes his hero power to cost 5 more? Ooh, that would be interesting. And he's forced to do it. You're kidding? Oh, okay. Oh, miss one damage to face because I didn't run the one into the murloc? Oh, fair enough. Uh, Alright, that was fine. And Fierce Monkey! That's a really, really good card. I'm happy to see that in Arena. This makes, uh, this makes Warrior so much more viable again. If you played the Murkai before attacking with that Murloc that buffs, I didn't have room on the board, so I had to attack with the Murloc that buffs to have room to play the Murkai. All right, cool. Oh, I didn't look at that card. Whoops. And I can't see it again, can I? Yeah, they're not going to show it to me again. All right. There's Bran Bronzebeard, which everybody has been looking forward to. Your battle cries trigger twice. That's going to be really interesting. Uh, we get Excavated Evil. Deal three damage to all minions. Shuffle this card into your opponent deck. Interesting. Interesting. I feel like that's not very good. But, meh. And we get the Druid and Paladin class quests as well. Second piece. My plan is nearly complete. Oh no! Are we accidentally assisting an evil? Well, now we've got the Staff of Origination. Isn't it built now? Or I guess we need a gem there, and then in the fourth week we do something special with it? I don't know. Cool! Wait, what is this? If you have six other minions something something? If you have six other minions gain plus four plus four? And the one one which I had freeing up a spot, then attacked, then played Murkai. Murkai first was plus one damage for the one he attacked with, was it not? No, no. I didn't attack with the one one first, then attack, then played Murkai. I attacked first, 
then killed the 1-1, one, one, then dropped Murkai, then went face with Murkai. 1-1 one, one for one minion that had Battlecry. If you have six other minions, get plus four, plus four. I, I don't know that that seems amazing. That seems really hard to make work. But that's pretty interesting. What I quoted was the text of the card you went past. Oh, 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 that Warlock one. Oh, interesting. And it's a, it's a Warlock. I guess that's doable. Hmm. Well, cool. Thanks. Thanks for catching me up. All right, let's do some of the class challenges now. And by some, I mean the two class challenges. Although, I liked the minecart one more. I want to do the minecart one. All right, let's do some druid fun. Rafam wants you to get wants you to find the staff so we could steal it when you return home. Yeah, probably. I mean, that's always how it works, right? Good guys are looking for an artifact, and then they find it, and then right at the very end, the bad guy's like, thanks for finding it for me, and takes it from you. I must protect Hobgoblin synergy. The players have spell damage plus two. Why? I'm kind of chilly. I gotta put some wool socks on. My feet are cold. Oh, right. It's the alternating... Right. All right, let's get the 1-1 saplings. I guess we figured out a way to get a minion on the board turn one, and not just one, but two. Oh, is this set up so where all of my minions are even mana and all of my spells are odd mana? That's cool. I'm gonna Druid of the Saber here. Another night on the prowl. No stupid. Oh, I saw something really after the bathroom. Okay, nothing interesting to do here, really. I guess I'll just trade, trade hero ability, because I want that dead. So we'll attack, we'll attack, we'll attack, and then I'll go face. I mean, that's what those 1-1s one are there for, right? Hey, Blairberry, how you doing? No! Oh, well. Savage Combatant is good here. Especially with Savagery in hand. Now, actually, man, this is something that could make Savagery worthwhile. I wonder if the point of this was to be like, see, Savage Combatant plus Savagery. Savage, you getting it now? This is what we're going for. No really great play here, though. I'm afraid that's Freezing Trap or something like that. So I'm going to go face and see what happens. Oh, it was the whenever your opponent hero abilities deal five damage thing, right? All right, so let's Jeweled Scarab then instead. Discover a three cost card. I'll take Panther. And we'll call that good. So in the movie Ek Mach Machina today. Not heard of that one. There's that Trog again. He's getting a way less amazing start than he got last time. Oh, oh, but I want a hero power. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I could deal. I could deal eleven damage to him. Not quite what I need though. Tomb Spider, discover a beast. I could put the Jungle Panther on the board. I think I want to not hero ability though. Because that's probably what this secret is again, right? And I don't want him to be able to get that. So let's Tomb Spider. Good savagery. Let's Tomb Spider. Actually, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. No, no, no. I take it back. Let's Savage a Combatant. Face, face. And pass. Here's my plan. Hero ability, savagery next turn. We'll probably deal a lot of damage, right? Or he'll kill both of my Savage Combatants. Okay, he won't. This is lethal, right? Five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Starfall can't go face. Shoot. Well, that didn't work like I was hoping. Alright. So instead, let's... Eh, let's just Starfall this. And go face. 
still can't hero ability because I know that's that other secret that I've never seen before. Discover is awesome. Discover is such a fun effect. That's okay. Now, if this works the way I think it's going to, I still win the game. Okay, good. Now, even if this dies, I believe my attack stays three. Oh, it, it hurt me anyway. I didn't realize I was an option. And then, savagery! Oh, it's only to a minion! It's only to a minion, so alternatively I could have Savage Roared. Shoot! I hope I didn't just throw the game, and I very well may have. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, well we could Tomb Spider into a beast. That would win it. I should have specified that part. Let's get another Tomb Spider. Alright, and then Huge Toad. Oh, man. Oh, that's Death Rattle. Okay. Take out the Trog with Savagery? Oh, that would have been a good idea. But, nah. I don't need to. Alright, now we'll kill him. Ooh! Please tell me this is an actual card that's getting added. You want a tree of life before we finish it off? Me either. That's totally not going to be the card that I'm unlocking right now, right? That idol? That's so powerful. Strong when you're playing this exact one? Nice. Mounted Raptor. Summon a random one-cost minion. Meh. Alright, Paladin. Raven's Idol will be added in week four. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's so good. I want that card badly. All right, now I'm assuming, yeah, this is all about buffing. I'll keep competitive spirit. That's it, though. Okay. Sure, I'll Sacred Trial now, because why not? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like a, it's, it's a sort of pseudo, feels like not as good Shredder. Alright, let's fill up my board even more now. Yeah, keep giving me more. Give me more and more and more and more. More. Oh, that's so this will allow me to. I get it. I get it. All right, let's raid leader. Actually, I don't have to kill anything of his yet. Maybe I should, but I don't have to. I don't have to at all. Reporting for duty. When your turn starts. He'll do that first. Okay. And I'll leave this alive, because he'll probably be the one to make the trade, right? Face it is. That's okay. I wasn't expecting him to get this many trades, though. I was expecting him to get, actually, no trades, if I'm being specific. So, unfortunately, that timing for me was pretty unfortunate, but we'll be able to get out of this at least somewhat. Alright. That's fine. Would have LC'd an attack because 0-2 is free? Yeah. All right, excellent sacred trial there. Really, really, really needed that. Ah, oh, thank you. All right, raid leader here is... pretty good. Could also lance carrier instead, so I don't need to raid leader. But I've got really nothing else I would want to do. Ooh, keeper of Uldamon. 
All right, let's raid leader. Let's lance carrier. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go straight face. So let's trade this way. And almost certainly this 2-1 will take out my raid leader, but that's all right. Most druid three drops are weak. That's why they made it. Plus it's sticky, so it's harder to clear the board to tone down the combo we'll played later. All right, that's fine. Does Sword of Justice affect the ones he gives me, too? All right, let's set this to 3-3. Three, three. Kill this. Kill this. Hero ability. I could use a nice little Cult Master play now. That's fine. Oh, that's fine. Astral Communion? Well, that'll be useless. Alright, we've got 3, 6, 7, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11. Not really close yet. Could do some card drawing. Let's do that. I like drawing cards. Uh, positioning slightly unfortunate, but that's all right. Could draw an additional card. All right, let's dare wolf and avenge. Not in my house. Okay. Use astral. It's obviously the best play here. I know with this deck. Wanted. Nether Spell alive. Slinger. Light Bomb. Okay. Interesting. Should we draw another card? I think yes. Let's Not draw another card. My house. Wait. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, nah. Well, wait. Actually, is this lethal? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm one short. We're one short. We're one short, but... Close enough. We've got Avenge. He's got to absolutely, completely clear my board, and then even if he does that, Sword of Justice will be enough next turn. I can't do that. What? I am sorry. There you go. Heh. <laughs> Remind me to watch the past broadcast version of it? Alright, and we'll be putting the, uh... I'll be putting the highlight on YouTube as well. This is a fun one. Shadow Step. Okay. We're gonna get another random spell. Mine is Starfire. Thank you for the card. And there's another Sword of Justice! Good stuff. So, I mean, other than our very first um, attempt on the first boss of the wing that went a little bit downhill because we just didn't have the right deck for it, we kind of just squeaked through this one. I mean, it was it was not too challenging. I don't think any of the, the, the fights here were that challenging. I may have gotten lucky with a few of them, but cool. Pick up the Keeper of Uldaman. This was an interesting, an interesting card. It's interesting with Paladin because you could use it as both a way of buffing up one of your, you know, 1-1 one, one tokens and also as a way of getting rid of one of the threats of your opponent's minions without making it ridiculous. It's not like sets it to 1-1, one, one, it sets it to a 3-3. Three, three. A 4 mana 3-4, uh, it's got to have a really good effect. I don't know. I could see myself drafting this if I was low on four drops and the other two options weren't very good, this could be something that you could get use out of, but I don't think I would pick this as regularly as, say, a Consecration or a True Silver or something like that. But not a bad card. Hi, Skymer. How you doing? And why is Al? Nice to see you as well. All right, good. It was fun. I like that. <laughs>